Welcome everybody out to the late night face check. My name is Valkmer. We are here today with Rain of Phoenix Rising Citrine going into the C East finals. Rain, how are you doing? I'm super excited about it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, PRC has been doing great this season. I know this isn't your first season together. I, I think it's your first NGS season, but you've played a couple of other events as well. And everything that I've seen, you guys are a really strong team. Tell me some of the history that is PRC. So the way we found ourselves um, was Ace, Lamort, and I were playing on PR Emerald uh, back in the previous season of NGS. And that team, uh, essentially, everyone went to their own old teams afterwards. Um, and so the three of us were kind of left with, like, oh, we don't have an old team. Well, we want to keep playing together. Let's make our own team. And Dr. Kobe got the Citrine name. And then I knew Stoic um, was just a great rock-solid personality that I wanted to have on my team for sure. Um, and a couple of my friends recommended Chad. And Stoic and Chad knew each other since they'd played on a CCS team together the previous season. So I figured taking two halves of teams would give us a jump start on that synergy, smash those two together, and we clicked personality-wise and have been humming ever since. Yeah, again, the the little bit that I've seen, PRC's doing great. They're they're absolutely a powerhouse, and I suppose that also shows us to why you're now here about to play in the C East Finals. Now, I want to say you you played in a Heroes Lounge season, right? We did. We wanted to make sure we had some competitive experience moving into the season, and um, we made it all the way to the playoffs, um, got through um, to the final rounds there, uh, but we kind of got nerves at the last second, which was excellent because we completely tripped and fell on our faces. It was wonderful. Just an excellent experience <laughs> that we had to get out of the way, so we're ready to go for tonight. Nice, nice. I, and that, that was kind of where I was going to ask there is how did the playoff experience there prepare you for the finals now? And you, you kind of answered that already. So uh, now, as I recall, you're the tank player on the team. I know Stoic, I, I talked to him a fair amount. So he plays Rainer or Greymane, though he, he says he, he plays other stuff too. But that's kind of his running gag is he plays those two heroes. The right uh, boy. And... Uh, I think Chad's in the off lane, right? Mm -hmm. I I don't know Lamort and Ace well enough. I apologize. I don't know which one's which. Those two are step brothers, so it's all right. You got them confused. Um, <laughs> Lamort's our excellent healer, who is just somehow keeps me alive. And then Ace is the one I base my entire team fight around. Is just keep Ace alive, and it usually works out. And so they're really the core of our team in the back line there. Nice, nice. Now, as as you've been planning for this moment and preparing for it, there there's been some time off over the the American Thanksgiving holiday. Has there been any? You'll you'll hear me make the joke of Rocky style montage videos that include PRC. Um, so not over Thanksgiving break. No, we actually took a moment and cleared our heads a bit and got settled because we've been going full steam ahead for about five six months now so we kind of needed that break and we said it's not the perfect time to take a break but it's the rest of the world has it set up where we're going to be traveling and let's just relax and take a break and come back to it nice clear head and focus um we've had our rocky training moment videos um but this week actually wasn't one of them nice nice well and and there's something to be said for as you mentioned just clearing your mind having that rested ready to go and where if you if you only pushed through the whole time, I, I don't know that that would be quite as powerful for you. So I, I think there is something to be said for taking a moment, spending time with family and friends and and coming into tonight relaxed and excited instead of all the pressure building up the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I, I think there's still some some plenty of wisdom there, really. So. Um, is there anything that you would say is kind of the, the PR signature or PRC? I, I guess you can't say you, your style is the signature of every Phoenix Rising team, but the, the Citrine signature, if you will, that you mentioned we got to keep Ace alive. Mm -hmm. um, is is that, uh, you know, is it hyper carries? Is it mixing a different bunch of comps? Is it having a little bit of meme in there? <laughs> so, um I'm incredibly blessed in that I got a bunch of different players behind me that can carry the game for me. 
so I can run the macro medium. I'll be honest, I'm not the best macro in our division, but team fighting wise, I have the best team behind me. So all I have to do is keep them alive and keep the opponents off of them and maybe set something up every once in a while. And the rest tends to work out. If I can get a map where Chad can uh, have a chance to 1v1 in an off lane, I know he'll win that. So I always go there um, and love those sort of situations. So I'd say our keys to success are um, my phenomenal back line and um, Chad being able to 1v1 anyone from the off lane. Nice. Nice. Now you're you're going against the Nexus Cats. They are the number one seed of Division C East. Any any nerves? I know you mentioned that that's probably not the case for you, but uh, how'd your last outing go? Have you prepared anything special without spilling the beans here? We two owed them um, in the regular season, and uh, we had to forfeit our last round of the season um, due to uh, some attendance issues essentially so um i like our matchup tonight nice so you're you're feeling strong going into it it, it sounds like you guys have a, a good head about you it's going to be a great match anybody who's been watching division c east and west know that there are four fantastic teams still going and i think tonight's going to be a great match and i think the grand finals are going to be just absolutely intense division sees where it's at best division so you have been nice enough to provide for me a clip which i am now realizing i really only have about halfway ready um, so we're going to keep talking as i finish getting that ready there sure, we go that, and oh hold on bud we got uh, a, a little valk in intruding here hey <laughs> all right for team play next season phoenix rising is always looking for more members so come contact our org um look for our discord or our website that's my spot um, link but man, I got we you. are uh here we go now i've got it I, I forgot that step beforehand but here we are with mild technical difficulties from valk a fantastic pitch from rain but here we are we're on infernal shrines and this is a, a match between you and house of shay and let's mm -hmm. see uh, etc scouting this uther is available joanna here could disengage this are they going to go all in joe gets the blind etc steps up now he's going to mosh onto the point no interrupts there oh the whole team stepped into it and that was a god mosh Still, though, Haymaker used to push ETC away. Mariner's going to get out. No, he's not. Joanna goes down as well, and that was one of the best moshes you're going to see. I don't know that the that the uh, the Haymaker was a bad thing for you. Because <laughs> um, uh, that was a one-way trip. Uh, yeah, you, no, you had the mosh set up, and, and sorry, now that little Valk has come in here, baby Valk is trying to join the party. Um, ah, hi, kiddo. So we you got in there, you you caught four of them initially, so they, they couldn't use Horrify, they couldn't use Divine Shield. Um, it, it does look like Uther has the cleanse. He couldn't use that either, and I... Do want to just use your W on my team? And the, the final person, who I think may have been Greymane, actually walked into the mosh rather than than uh, staying it out of it. Long, so whoever it was on the right side. So your, your team just gets to pump all sorts of damage. When the mosh ends, now Muradin knocks you out of harm's way. Your team mm -hmm. catches the camp and gets two kills right there. So a, a fantastic team fight, which you mentioned being one of the strengths of of Citrine here is is those big team fight wins. So fantastically done. Well, at this point, Rain, you have made it to the lightning round of questions. You will have 60 seconds to see just how many of Valk's questions you can answer. The timer will start as I finish reading the first question. Rain, are you ready? Okay. All right, that was the first one. Easy. Number two. 
that that one sadly isn't worth a point. Or or everybody's scores would be one higher anyway because I always ask that one. But all right, best hero to host a party. Uh, etc. Dream comp. Uh, Joe Mephisto on a gray main mouth ale. Best hero's workout buddy. Uh, Blaze. Favorite NGS rider. You. Uh, how does your team shot call? Medium. F favorite caster. <laughs> uh, Grubby. Next hero to add. Hogger. Which map would you add to an air or turn into an area rug for your home? Uh, Garden of Terror. Skin you want added to the game? Um, a disco etc. Wait, sorry there. Uh, Name Raptor. three heroes to join you at yoga class. Uh, May, uh, Thrall, Imperius. Map with the best look. Sky Temple. Favorite hero. Etc. Ooh, and that's time. Let's see how many you got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So very close. Ray knew the record is 14 going into this, so his, that competitive drive was uh, there for him. But very close. You You had one of the toughest ones, which is the Dream Comp, because... While I shuffle the cards and everyone's got a random shake at it, that one always is a little bit tougher because you got to say five hero names and you got to come up with it on the spot. I don't think I stand by most of my answers, I'll be honest. <laughs> I I thought it was clever to say next hero you want added to the game. You just said, oh, Hogger, tomorrow. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if that, we're going to have problems if that's not the next one. Yeah, if, if they... Pull a big Christmas bait there. That would be interesting, I suppose. But all right, let's see. Um, although I didn't uh, keep these separated, you mentioned. Okay, here's our cards that we were at. All right, you said May Thrall, and who was the oh, third God, one God, for God. yoga class? <laughs> Oh, it's random answers. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, obviously Thrall, you know, he seems like a limber dude. Um, and he seems like someone that's very relaxing to be around. Same with Imperius, kind of a... Oh, Imperius. I don't know that he's relaxed. Oh, yeah, sure. He's a very down-to-earth guy. You know, super humble. Uh, mm. I think it would be great to hear. I mean, have you seen him limbo underneath his... I have, like, I have. Dancing? That yeah, That's true. He is very right. flexible in that moment. Yeah. So. Well, fantastic work on the lightning round. 12 is a very respectable number. You're in, in high regards there. There's only one person at 14, one person at 13, and now three at 12. So out of coming up on 60 interviews, you're in the top five. So... Well, Rain, the time is yours for any shout outs that you would like to give at this time. Um, so I think the first and most important one goes to my wife. She's been super supportive um, of me playing so many video games. Uh, and she watches often and uh, genu genuinely cares when I talk about it. Uh, and she's wonderful and supportive and amazing. Um, and then, of course, uh, the Phoenix Rising organization is a great place um, where you can get coaching and find other teams to scrim with and it's just a great community that's really coming together nicely so make yourself part of it if you can Thanks. Uh, and then uh, my teammates are phenomenal stoic has the greatest emotional stability of anyone i've ever met he's rock solid for us and is the heart and soul of our team uh lamort somehow keeps my um medium to poor play alive at all times Ace carries us in dammers all the time. Chad can't be beaten the off lane. And Sweet Fun's the best coach around. So I really want to thank them, first and foremost, for being a wonderful team uh, to play with, with absolutely no drama ever, which is unheard of in any other team I've played on before. Maybe that's my problem. But either way, they're a great place to play with. So, them. Nice, nice. Well, glad to. I, I have fun with it. Well, for my sign-offs, it will be my traditionals of, first off, 
Hi, Mom. Second, of course, the time to rock the vote is upon us. The NGS season end of season survey is here. Vote for the Storm League map pool and the NGS map pool to come together in perfect harmony so that practice is that much easier. It's just a simpler way to live, my friends, and you have the power to make it happen. This has been the Late Night Face Check. My name is Valkmer. Mind the bushes out there and have fun in the Nexus. Thanks, everybody.